Hi. Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial we will learn how a VGD works and what is the need of it in centrifugal compressors and how it is controlled. VGD stands for Variable Geometry Diffuser and it helps in eliminating rise in noise and vibration an issue that can arise with all centrifugal compressors when they encounter extreme conditions. VGD accomplishes this by eliminating aerodynamic turbulence within the diffuser by tuning the diffuser width to match flow. A VGD drive ring have three cam groves slightly sloped downwards on the side of the ring. It is used to accommodate drive pins. It will be explained further in the video. As can be seen VGD base plate houses three drive pins on it. Base plate is fixed on the front of impeller discharge side, so drive pins can enter the diffuser. Drive pin installed on the nozzle base plate is shown. Centrifugal compressor cut view is shown with all the parts inside. Diffuser plate, nozzle base plate, diffuser ring, drive pin, drive pin cam follower, drive ring, axial cam follower, axial support, and impeller. Drive pin follows precision cam groove machined into the drive ring and moves forward and backwards. A circular ring is pushed in and out of the diffuser gap, by the drive pins continuously varying the diffuser width to match changing flow. Rear view of a fully assembled VGD is shown. Let's review the main parts again. Drive pin, actuating arm, nozzle base plate, drive ring, radial bearing, axial bearing. Actuating arm, driven by an external actuating motor this arm rotates the drive ring. Circular rotating drive ring is driven in clockwise and anti-clockwise directions by the actuating arm. Drive pin follow precision cam groove machined into the drive ring and pushed and pulled by the drive pin cam follower. Side view is shown of fully assembled VGD for review. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comment section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.